Mid Journey just released their version 5.2 with amazing new features. This takes AI image generation to the whole new level. The most important one is the new zoom out feature. The next one is the new shorten command that lets you analyze your prompt and make suggestion on which words probably are not contributing towards the image generation. There are changes to the overall aesthetic system as well as there is a now a new high variation mode. We're going to be looking at all of these in this video. In order to activate this new version, simply go to settings and then in settings, you need to select the MJ version 5.2. This is the default version now. Okay, so let's look at a very simple prompt, a close up image of a sports car in a busy street. Now pay attention to this close up word. Okay, so here are our images. And these are pretty nice looking images. Mid Journey is great at creating some amazing images. Now we need to pick one of them. So I'm going to pick uh, this image. This, uh, let's say I'm going to pick the first image and we'll simply upscale that image. Here's the upscaled version. It looks pretty great. Now, if you go down, you're going to see some new options. So for example, there's custom zoom, zoom out 1.5X uh, and 2X. And then there are two different variation options. We're going to look at all of them. But first, let's check out the zoom out 1.5. Okay, so here's the zoomed out version. And it's simply amazing because it added a lot of details in the background. So here is the original image. And here is one of the zoomed out image. Now, if you pay close attention to it, it added some uh, cars in the background as well. And uh, the, in the original image, this person was not fully visible. In the original image, the person is partially visible, as you can see here. However, in the zoomed out image, you can actually see the person. Now, here's the trick. You can actually zoom out it further. So let's say we're going to use the uh, 2x zoom in this case. So here's the further zoomed out version. Now, the great thing about this is you can keep doing zoom out on the images uh, and it will add a lot more details in the background. Now, essentially, this is like outpainting that uh, Stable Diffusion or DALI does. However, it's not adding for further pixels in the image. So if you zoom out uh, by the twice amount, it's not going to add twice of the pixels. The number of pixels is going to remain the same. Uh, so you will lose some detail on the car. But still, it's an amazing feature to have. Now, the next option I want to show you is Custom Zoom and this Make Square. In this case, I generated an image with the aspect ratio of 16 by 9. Now, using this make square option, uh, it will convert it to a square, but it does something interesting. Uh, it actually took our 16 by 9 aspect ratio image and added details in the top and the bottom. Now, this is a great way if you want to center your object. Now, let's go back to our original image. And here you can uh, uh, not only change your uh, prompt, but also define the custom zoom. So let's take it to a crazy value of 10. And so hit submit and let's wait for it. Okay, so it seems like uh, it cannot be uh, more than two. Now, in order to show you what these other two options do that were very strong and very subtle. Uh, so I created another image. So a realistic headphone with smoke coming out of the earpieces, DSLR ultra wide, and then we're using an aspect ratio of 19, 16 by nine, right? So first, uh, let's check out the uh, this option. So very subtle. Now uh, I'm in the remix, remix mode. That's why it's asking me if I want to modify uh, the prompt, but I do not. So let's simply submit. Now, as a result, it created uh, four different images, but they are very similar, uh, both in uh, not only in style to the original image, but to each other as well. Now let's see what happens if when we try to vary it by a stronger scale. So again, I'm going to just submit. Okay, if you now look at this one, there are more variations across these four images compared to the previous one. Now, this is where we set the very to subtle. And you see the orientation of all the headphones is very similar along with the smoke coming out of it. But in the second case, the orientation uh, of the headphones in each image is relatively different compared to the rest. Now, if you like to write very detailed prompts, for image generation, this next one is going to be a game changer for you. So there is a new uh, option, shortened, where you can simply type in your prompt. So I'm typing this prompt, muscle car, aggressive styling, racing stripes. Uh, it's, it's a relatively big prompt. Now, after running the shortened um, command on it, now, if you look at the results, 
uh, you will notice that in the original prompt, some of the um, keywords are actually highlighted in bold, and uh, some of them are uh, just striked out. So those are the keywords that are not really uh, contributing anything to the image generation process. Now you can go and look at the further details. So if you click on show details, then it actually shows you the weight that it's assigning to different keywords. Now, this is just amazing because it will help you in writing really good prompt. So essentially, uh, Mid Journey is doing prompt engineering for you. Now, there are five different variations depending on the uh, weight of the keywords. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create images based on these five different combinations. So in order to do that, simply click on the numbers. So let's click on number one. Okay, so here are the results based on uh, these compact prompts. And actually it does uh, preserve the intention that I had. Uh, so it's muscle car and stripes, uh, blur, action shot, teddy photo. And even for the, uh, just like a four or five keyword prompts, uh, they still do a pretty good job. Uh, this shorten command will change the way you prompt because you're going to be including only the most important keyword from now on. So make sure that you make good use of it. Okay, so the last change I want to show is this improve status command. Now it can have a value between zero and 1000 and it's going to have a strong effect on the amount of stylization applied to your image. Okay, so we will start with this simple prompt, medium photo, uh, steampunk male portrait looking at the camera close up and we will set the default value to 100. Okay, so these are the results that you get when we set stylized to 100. And these looks pretty amazing images, right? Now I change it to zero. Uh, the, the images are pretty bland, uh, not great at all. Uh, but actually when I set it to 1000, you see a lot more details and you can see that there is a lot more creativity in the generated images. This was a quick roundup of all the features that are added in version 5.2. I'm especially interested in the zoom out and the shorten command. Now it seems like Midjourney is going to be adding a lot more interesting features. Unfortunately, Midjourney is not free anymore. If you're looking for some alternatives, check out Leonardo.ai and Playground.ai. They offer some really good image generation tools for free or close to free. I hope you found this video useful. Consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. If you're interested in generative AI, both for image generation as well as for large language models, check out the description of the video for a link to the Discord server. You will find like-minded people over there who are helping each other out. So come join us. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.